understand that because sometimes I'll meet men who are older and you know you'll go on a date with a woman that's maybe 40 50 and she's so jaded and so negative and then he's just like oh and she's so difficult and then he's just like oh, I actually don't care enough to start a marriage with somebody I just want to have a nice vacation with a girl so I can understand why he does that but I would say young men in my experience I've worked with some young men who have an addiction to escorts and I, whenever like a wife might come to me and she, her husband's maybe 30 years old, handsome enough, not terrible, and he's going to escorts, the first question I say to the woman, I say, is he bad in bed? And she says, um, well, I, don't, I haven't got much experience, I go, he's bad in bed. I said, I promise you, he's not good at sex. And she say, do you think so? I don't personally have that much experience, so I don't know, I'm used to him. And I said, look, I promise you in this day and age, a 32-year-old man can jump on Tinder and find a girl that day. day. If he's resorting to escorts, he has either a porn addiction or he's not good. He's not good at sex and he wants to bypass the feedback. He wants to skip the feedback women give you. In the real world, which is very harsh by the way, in the real world what happens is, particularly when you're like 30 to 35 or 20 to 30, whatever, young boys, Girls can tell you, they're, they're shameless, they'll say to you, or they'll imply that they're not uh, pleased with what you're doing. They'll imply it by never calling you again, they'll imply it by getting back with an ex, they'll imply it by their facial expression, whatever it is, they'll imply their satisfaction. Men who have received negative feedback more than once will then skip that and go to an escort. If they, uh, when you're older, slightly different reasons behind it. But young men who are going to escorts are trying to avoid their negative feedback. And there is something in their sexual performance that has caused negative feedback in the past. I would either say it's porn addiction or it might just be size related. I'm really sorry to be crude. But usually, because I know women can be really harsh, it's usually that. And they want to skip that. And that's why they go to the escorts who give them no feedback. Or they give them positive feedback. Mm -hmm. Do you think that might make sense? This is just my own theory. Yeah, yeah, no, too. <laughs> no, no, no I, I think you're right. But you also get, you know, d given what you do for a living, you're probably seeing a much more negative yeah. segment of society. Segment. Yeah, I'm seeing Because I know there are plenty of people that have really wonderful, fulfilling, respect-filled relationships. Mm. Yeah, so many. I mean, lo I mean, loving and being loved is an art. Yeah, it really is. And one thing I would say... Not, I not everyone can master yeah, I suffered with really bad anxiety before I met my husband. Really, really bad, really anxious, really... And I thought this was a disease. I thought this is just in me forever. I'm always going to be horrible. I'm always going to be mean. I'm always going to be jealous. I'm always going to be insecure. It's just what I'm going to be. But when you meet somebody that soothes you, every day feels calmer. Every day feels better. Every moment feels better. And, you know, as much as we might say, our oh, relationships are so scary and there's this, that and the other, they're scary when we make bad decisions. They really are. Everything is scary when we make bad decisions. Even the food we eat can be really traumatizing to our bodies and stuff if we make the bad decisions. But when we make good decisions, it's, it, it's like, um, it, it's, it's literally cleansing. So when you do find somebody that you can be feel safe with and make you feel safe, um, you won't believe that your nervous system can calm down so much. So if you are a woman who's always experienced anxiety in relationships and always experienced stress and you just convinced yourself you're just this jealous, anxious person, have a look at your selection because when you do find something more soothing, you will become unrecognizable. You'll be a lot calmer. It's hard to find, but you'll be a lot calmer. There's so many different types of relationships. Some people are into more, I hate to say abuse, but they're, they're into a little more violent mm. style. But for me, like when you feel like, like what you just described, where yeah. your, your brain waves, your, your yeah. whole mood changes when you're around this person. Yeah. That's, that's what you relationship. sleep better. You sleep better, yeah, everything is you better. Make, you make better decisions in what you eat. Just, just by them being around you. Yeah, by just them being around you. And we can cultivate that. We can really cultivate that. And I think one thing that I think men underestimate is if you can avoid pornography and you can avoid liking pictures and you can avoid creating insecurities, it doesn't work on every girl, but if you can generally try and avoid that, it will really help. Similarly, women, if you can avoid taking out all your traumas onto this person and using him as an emotional punching bag, it will also help. And you'd be grateful rather than being ungrateful, which we, we all, myself included, have a habit of doing. 
you can find something really, really valuable in marriage and relationships. They're, they're med medicinal. You need it. One of the things I've noticed, in, especially my dad is getting older, and what, you, doctors in general, one of the things they always say and do, as soon as a man gets a bit older and he comes into the doctor's surgery, the doctor will say, have you got a wife? And the reason they say that is because they know the chances of survival for anything is higher when you're in a relationship and you're married. And I've had, met so many doctors now, the first thing they'll say is, oh, if he doesn't have a wife, oh, he's going to take forever to recover from this surgery, or it's going to take longer. To... So it's really, it's really helpful if you can find someone really good for you. You really do need, you really do need it. We all do. You probably live longer. Yeah, you live longer. And even for women, when they're giving birth, if they hold the hands of their mother or they hold the hands of their husband, the, the pain nerves can tolerate more. So we're just biologically designed to love and be loved. Yeah. You, you, you can talk about relationships all day long. <laughs> I feel like I'm so boring. I feel like I'm, so, I'm like a one-trick pony and I just talk about this all the no, time. No, but this, <laughs> this is something we all need to <laughs> yeah. sort out in our lives. Yeah, I'm so sorry if I'm and, like... No, and without, oh. without advice and knowledge like you have... Praise be to God. I think people would just struggle even for it. No, I hope so. I, I think I was just... Um, my only motivation for coming online is I kept seeing advice that would definitely cause a divorce. I kept seeing advice that, you know, that was going to destroy marriages. And I, as much as I love um, Andrew's message, Andrew Tate's message, I really do overall, I do really admire what he's kind of done for masculinity. But one of the key things that is really going to destroy relationships is teaching the idea that you can be with multiple, multiple women and she can just be, she just has to accept it and that's how you be the man. Unfortunately, those days are gone where a woman will just let you cheat on her and just stay at home, you want to cheat on her, she'll cheat on you 10 times Well, I, th I think a lot of what Andrew Tate was doing yeah. earlier on was just being controversial just mm -hmm. to get a big name. Yeah. He understood that mm -hmm. probably better than anybody. Mm -hmm. But now if you listen to him, he, he actually makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense. And I think that, you know, it's, uh, the um, change in religions and just the whole experiences does kind of help you reevaluate your values. And then they usually come back to um, more traditional values. They usually are the only thing that heal you when you've gone through a lot. He's, of he's super intelligent. Yeah, I, I agree very much so. And a, a very good, like, orator can speak very well. And I think Absolutely. That's important. No, he, 